There are so many good things that happen in churches like this all around India. Everybody that believes in Jesus should belong to a church. We come to church to learn, we come to church to fellowship, we come to church to be a part of a community, and we come to church to grow in Christ. That's good and that's the way it should be. But have you noticed, out here is where most of the people are. Sure, there are some people in the church, but most of the people live out here. And that presents something of a dilemma for the church. And that dilemma is quite simply this. How is it that the church proclaims the gospel of Jesus Christ right out here where people live? This is where they have their families. This is where they work. This is where they deal with the trials and the struggles of life. This is exactly where they need to encounter the risen Christ. How does the church proclaim the gospel right out here? And so, since 1957, Christianity Works has been doing the one thing that the church singularly finds most difficult to do. We proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ outside the four walls of the church. And to do that, we use the media. That's why I spend time in television studios like this and in radio studios. In fact, our radio program, A Different Perspective, is now being broadcast through over a thousand stations in 160 countries. Every week, literally millions of people across those nations hear the good news of Jesus Christ through this ministry of Christianity Works, which, by the way, is a small Australian ministry with eight staff worldwide. It's amazing what God can do with two fish and five loaves. But preaching can be boring, and so we don't preach at people. What we do is we look at the issues of life dealing with a difficult boss, dealing with a teenager who's going astray, looking at the struggles a man and a woman might have in their marriage. We look at the sorts of ordinary things that ordinary everyday people like you and me go through in our lives. And we look at them from a different perspective. We look at them from God's perspective. And what we show people is that God actually does have some real answers. God really does have the truth and there is joy and peace in having a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's why we do what we do. My passion is to see people come into a dynamic relationship with Jesus Christ. My passion is to see them have joy and peace in their lives. My passion is to see them discover who God made them to be and what God made them to do and to live the life that God made them to live. That's what the Ministry of Christianity Works does. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the gospel message, the good news of Jesus Christ, out here on the streets where the people are through FM radio. Now in India, that's of course a difficult thing to do. But can I tell you, I have seen so many miracles where God has provided Christianity works with the airtime that we need in the most amazing places across London when we shouldn't have been able to afford it, across Chicago and the US, across Africa, in Rwanda. God has always gone before us and provided the open doors so that we can use the airwaves to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. And that's the very reason we do what we do at Christianity Works, so that these people out here can hear the good news, the wonderful news of a Saviour who died and rose again from them. They need to hear the message. How are they supposed to believe in someone of whom they've never heard? How are they supposed to hear if there's no one to proclaim? And how are we to proclaim unless there is someone to send us? That's what the Apostle Paul writes in Romans chapter 10. So I pray that you will join with us and support us in prayer that God would go before us and open the doors. And I pray that when the time comes, you would join with us in real support and get behind what Christianity Works is doing. We want to partner with you, the church, so that we can reach out and do the one thing that's the most difficult thing to do for the church. Reach beyond the four walls of the church 
and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for praying with me.